हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर पार्थ गोस्वामी आई एम द कंसल्टेंट पैथोलॉजिस्ट एंड होप दिस वीडियो विल फाइंड्स यू ऑल इन अ गुड हेल्थ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट टाइप थ्री हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन सो फ्रेंड्स दिस पर्टिकुलर हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन टाइप थ्री टाइप विल बी मीडिएटेड बाई इम्यून कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्मेशन राइट देर विल बी इम्यून कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्मेशन दैट्स वाई इट इज नोन बाई द नेम इम्यून कॉम्प्लेक्स मीडिएटेड हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन following immune following the immune complex formation there will be complement activation in the person and because of which a person will feel a person will have inflammation and tissue injury right the tissue injury and the inflammation is because of immune complex formation and complement activation that's why it is known by the name immune complex mediated type 3 hypersensitivity reaction so let's begin with the definition so as we have discussed the process will begin with a antigen antibody complex formation right which will induces a tissue damage mainly by initiating inflammation at the site of deposition and the inflammation is because of complement activation right so the basic process will start with antigen antibody complex formation and you have to remember that uh, this particular hypersensitivity is not immediate hypersensitivity right the type 1 hypersensitivity was a uh, immediate hypersensitive reaction right here the reaction will occur several hours or after several days right it will occur over the period of several hours or several days and usually it's a ongoing process that's why uh, the reaction will appear after 5 to 7 days uh, sometime all right so which could be the source of antigen right which are the antigens here in this hypersensitivity so the source of antigen could be exogenous or endogenous exogenous means outside the body like that of foreign protein injection like that of diphtheria anti toxin injection right anti thymocyte globulin injection or because of some infectious microbial infection so that can serve as a exogenous antigen which is uh, administered in the body outside the from the outside right so it's a exogenous antigen while endogenous antigens could be our own cells right within the body for example is antibody against the self antigen if antibody forms again our own antigen then it is known by the name autoimmunity so that is the example of endogenous antigen now following the antigen exposure right we have the antibody formation so what could be the site of such uh, antibody formation and the immune complex formation right the antigen and antibody will combine and they will form a immune complex so which are the sites so they can be formed in the blood circulation right within the blood vessel or they can form in a particular organ at extra vascular site right they can develop in kidney in joint etc where antigen might have implanted previously right so it can form in situ within specific organ or in a blood circulation now which could be the site of uh, immune complex deposition once the immune complex form they can deposited in specific organs right if they deposited in many organs like that of in uh, joint in liver in kidney right if it develop if it get deposited in many organ then it is known by the name systemic type 3 hypersensitivity but suppose the formed immune complex deposit in a specific organ like that in the kidney in the joint or in the blood vessel of the skin then it is known by the name localized hypersensitivity reaction and the most of the reactions are usually localized type 3 hypersensitivity reaction all right now once they get deposited right they can initiate a inflammation and tissue injury so the patient will manifest manifest uh, certain symptoms according to the organ involved right so suppose the patient is having many complaints like uh, joint involvement like uh, kidney involvement right if it is systemic then it is known by the name serum sickness but if the if the reaction is localized if the symptom is localized then it is known by the name arthritis reaction so these two are the basic type of this uh, immune complex disease right it could be systemic serum sickness or it could be localized arthritis reaction 
and see friends uh, this systemic illness is very rare nowadays because uh, the foreign serums are not used uh, nowadays commonly right so it's a very rare occurrence usually the systemic disease develop after injection of foreign serum right like that of diphtheria antitoxin etc so it's very rare nowadays the common one is localized right all right now pathogenesis of type 3 hypersensitivity now see the summary of pathogenesis so first of all as we have discussed the patient will have antigenic exposure it could be exogenous or endogenous so following antigen exposure after say 7 to 10 day 7 to 10 days right within 7 to 10 days the patient will develop antibody right the b cell will get stimulated and they will form the antibody this antibody will combine with antigen and they will form a immune complex now friends see such immune complex formation right it can it can form after microbial infection as well so such immune complex formation is effectively removed in a normal person in the liver and spleen by the process of phagocytosis right commonly it is removed the immune complex will be removed but in a hypersensitivity person right in specific person susceptible person this immune complex will not remove effectively and so they will get deposited in a organs right like that of in kidney in joints in liver right in the blood vessel and so because of deposition they will activate the complement and because of complement activation the patient will have inflammation and tissue injury so this is the complete pathogenesis of type 3 hypersensitivity reaction don't forget it again i am summarizing you have the antigen exposure following with there there will be antibody formation the antibody will combine with antigen and they will form a immune complex if this immune complex not removed effectively by phagocytosis then they will get deposited deposited in organs and in the deposited organ they will elicit a inflammation and tissue injury by the complement activation all right so that was about the pathogenesis of type 3 hypersensitivity reaction now you might have question that uh, how complement activation elicit a inflammation so see friends uh, we have already discussed it in a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction if you have not seen that video then check the playlist or uh, or you can click the link in the description section right so in that lecture we have discussed that during the complement activation in the subsequent step right the complement 1 to complement 9 will get activated right they are the inactivated protein they will get activated and during during this activation there will be release of c5a as a by product and this particular by product act as a anaphyla toxin and they will act as a chemotactic substance for the neutrophil and so they will recruit more and more neutrophil because they are chemotactic for neutrophil so at the site of immune complex deposition there will be complement activation and because of complement activation you will have release of c5a which will recruit more and more neutrophil so at the tissue deposition of immune complex you will have more number of neutrophils right because of c5a because of complement activation and we know very well that in the neutrophil there is a presence of many granules right they will contain lysosomal enzymes and arachidonic acid products so these lysosomal enzymes hydrolytic enzymes and the arachidonic acid products will get released from the neutrophil and they will elicit a tissue damage and additionally there will be formation of reactive oxygen species particularly they will form a free radicals so because of that there will be tissue damage so again i am telling because of complement activation the c5a will be released the c5a will recruit more and more neutrophil because it is a chemotactic substance for neutrophil right okay and because of neutrophil accumulation there will be released of neutrophil content particularly lysosomal hydrolytic enzymes and the arachidonic acid products and additionally you will have free radical formation 
free radical species formation at the site of immune complex deposition and all these will initiate uh, inflammation and the tissue damage right there will be tissue damage all right so because of tissue damage because of inflammation in the organ you will have clinical manifestation so this particular diagram demonstrating uh, antigen antibody complex formation in the blood vessel right here the antigen is in the circulation so the b cell will stimulate it and they will produce produces the antibody which will combine with antigen they will form the immune complex deposition and they have get deposited in the blood vessel right and in the when they will deposited in blood vessel obviously complement system will get activated and because of which you will have the inflammation in the blood vessel inflammation and tissue damage and here the tissue damage in the blood vessel is particularly seen in the form of necrosis particularly fibrinoid type of necrosis so in the deposited blood vessel there will be vasculitis you will have fibrinoid necrosis right and there will be inflammation of blood vessel all right so which are the example of uh, this type 3 hypersensitivity reaction so these are some of the example the first example is systemic lupus erythematosus right it's a autoimmune disease in which the patient will develop antibody against the nuclear antigen right and the organ involved are kidney skin and the joints it's a multi systemic disease right so the patient will have many clinical manifestation second one is post streptococcal glomerulonephritis the name itself suggest here the organ involved is glomerulus right here the kidney is involved and here the antibody will form against the streptococcal antigen the streptococcal antigen implanted in the glomerular basement membrane right as we have discussed that antigen can be implanted in a specific organ so here streptococcus implanted in a glomerular basement membrane and so the patient will develop antibody against it so the patient will have glomerulonephritis right third example is polyarthritis nodosa in which the antibody will be against the hepatitis b virus right and they will and the immune complex will get deposited in the blood vessel so the patient will have vasculitis systemic the fourth one is reactive arthritis in which the antibody will form against the bacterial antigen particularly yersinia right and they will get deposited in the joints so patient will have arthritis the fifth example is serum sickness in which the antibody will form against the foreign serum protein right which which can be injected in the body if in the body foreign serum proteins are injected like that of anti thymocyte globulin then the patient will uh, will have immune complex formation in many organs right and the patient will have serum sickness it's a systemic type 3 hypersensitivity reaction but most of the reaction is uh, localized reaction in which the foreign proteins if injected in the skin so the patient will develop antibody against it and the patient will have immune complex deposition in the blood vessel right all right so these six are the example of type 3 hypersensitivity reaction all right now which are the clinical features of type 3 hypersensitivity so see friends the uh, clinical features is according to the organ involved right suppose uh, if the patient have vasculitis or arth uh, vasculitis right then the patient will have fever in the polyarthritis nodosa there will be vasculitis so the patient will mainly manifest fever suppose the involved organ is joint here uh, for example in the sle in the reactive arthritis and right in such condition the immune complex deposition is in the joint so the patient will have arthritis and patient will complain joint pain suppose the deposition is in the skin right if there is a cutaneous vasculitis in arthritis reaction then patient will have urticaria over the skin patient can have lymph node enlargement as well and suppose in the type 3 hypersensitivity main organ involved is kidney particularly it is involved in sle post streptococcal glomerulonephritis and it can be involved in serum sickness as well which is a systemic type 3 hypersensitivity reaction so if the kidney is involved then the patient will have either nephritis right glomerulonephritis 
right so because of nephritis the patient will manifest protein urea the protein will lost in urine and because of protein loss in urine the oncotic pressure will decrease so the patient will complain the edema right nephrotic syndrome can develop so these are the clinical feature according to the organ involvement so the clinical feature is always according to the organ involvement right all right now what could be the morphology of type 3 hypersensitivity reaction so the morphology is according to the organ involvement right suppose the blood vessel is involved then as we have discussed there will be mainly inflammation in the blood vessel neutrophilic infl inflammation and there will be fibrinoid necrosis which is known by the name acute necrotizing vasculitis right so in the blood vessel there will be fibrinoid necrosis all right in the kidney there could be inflammation neutrophilic inflammation right there could be changes of nephrotic syndrome and if you observed it in immunofluorescence microscopy then the deposition will be granular lumpy deposit of immunoglobulin and complement right granular lumpy deposit all right so as we have discussed friends in the normal immune response the immune the immune complex will be removed by phagocytosis in the liver and spleen so remember that immune complex form normally as well because whenever you have microbial infection or whenever you have any injection of foreign protein then obviously immune complex will form and it will removed by phagocytosis in liver and spleen if it is not removed effectively then type 3 hypersensitivity will develop all right so thank you very much friends and hope uh, this particular lecture will clear your fundamentals about type 3 hypersensitivity reaction so friends i will be right back with a new video uh, in due in short uh, short time right uh, till then take care and bye bye see you soon in the next video take care